lessons from a 5k launch of a group program that I essentially got a download for and then launched 72 hours later. I really want to break this down. This was honestly one of the most exciting launches I've ever done in my entire business and I want to share all the lessons with you. So the first thing that I want to really talk about is the offer. So if you saw my Instagram stories today, I literally launched, um, well, I tested like 30 or more different offers in 2023. And so um, I really got good at figuring out what works and what doesn't. And also how to figure out really what the right offer is for where your audience is at right now. So what I did a lot of in 2023 was like, I just kind of like randomly created offers um, based on kind of like what I wanted to serve people with, but I wasn't really thinking about like, what do people really need? And the other issue is I wasn't being very narrow. Like I wasn't being very specific around who I was trying to serve with my offer. So one of the things that worked really well with IG Baddie is that I was so specific on who I was targeting and what the transformation was. And I learned a lot of this from my first launch of LinkedIn, the LinkedIn Baddie program, because that program, I was also really specific with who I was going after, which was an ex-corporate female entrepreneur who wanted to get on LinkedIn to get high paying clients, but she didn't want to be stuck in like a corporate suit box and show, suit box and show up on LinkedIn in like a super stiff way. And I knew that was a really successful launch because I'd gotten, um, it was a smaller launch, but I knew it was successful because I'd gotten really specific, right? And so I kind of followed the model of the LinkedIn Baddie program. And so obviously I created IG Baddie. And the reason I was able to really like get the nail, like hit the nail on the hammer or like get the, hit the nail on the head or whatever with the IG Baddie offer was because of the free challenge that I ran on my Instagram stories in the last 10 days of 2023. So what was going on then was I was basically in the DMs because we had a group chat for the challenge. So I was in the DMs basically talking to my dream clients every single day. And I was hearing a lot about what they were kind of like wanting to do, what they were struggling with, what they were currently working on, what their blocks were. And something that I heard a lot of was they weren't really sure about like who their dream client was, right? And so something that I've talked a lot about in my content is the fact that I work with dream clients and I have a lot of people kind of like coming into my DMs who are very, very aligned, right? And that actually turned out to be something that my audience really, really wanted as well because a lot of people weren't really working with like their dream clients in their business and that was something they really wanted, right? And so I heard a lot about that and I was also hearing a lot about like, you know, blocks on what to post, like not really sure what content brings in sales, like not really sure how to show up on Instagram, um, you know, feeling like it's really aesthetic and feeling like, you know, they're trying to let go of the perfection, but it's really hard, stuff like that. And so um, I really wanted to, inside the challenge, I saw that there was a need for kind of like a program to fill that gap, right? And do it in a way that was like really fun, like an IG baddie, right? And so um, it all happened super organically because inside the challenge, I basically, um, at one point I said like, hey, like you guys should just like make sure you optimize your Instagram bio because um, you need to make sure that when you do all these, when you're creating all these reels and you're getting all these like views from non-followers that they're going to translate into actual followers, right? Like, cause people will go to your bio and then they'll decide whether to follow you or not. And so a lot of the responses were like, well, we're not really sure exactly like how to optimize our bio. And so here I really just lean into, leaned into serving my audience. Like in the past, I might've kind of been like, ooh, like, is this an offer? Like, should I now do like a paid masterclass? Should I create like a product on like how to optimize your Instagram bio? But I decided not to like try and monetize at that point. So I was like, I'm just gonna serve. Like, I'm just gonna serve these people. 
and like just do a little mini masterclass. Like let's do a free masterclass, a little workshop. And so, and it was like the holidays and I was just feeling like really doing a lot of community stuff. And again, at this point I had no idea about IG Batty. And so I decided to, I was like, hey, like let's do a free workshop. Like if you guys are around during the holidays, we can do it on the 28th or something. And a bunch of them were like, yeah, like we'd love to do the workshop. And so I scheduled the workshop. I got a people, um, I think I got like eight people signed up for, or six people signed up for the workshop. And then literally two days after I had decided to do the workshop, I was like, I still had a few days until the workshop. I got the idea for IG Baddie because what was going on in the background was I was selling my high ticket program content baddie, which as we know, it was not very successful in selling. I got one baddie inside, but um, I wasn't really able to get a lot more people in. And something that I was really feeling was I felt like my audience needed a midpoint. Um, something that was like, maybe not like, I don't think they needed something super low ticket, but they want, needed something kind of like mid ticket to get a taste of working with me, but also something that would really kind of fill almost like a micro transformation that they could have for them to jump on board with me, right? And um, so that's where I decided to um, basically come up with a concept of IG Baddie. And so literally over like the course of three days, up until I was running the masterclass, the, the, sorry, the free workshop for the IG bio, I basically just quickly put together that offer. And I was like, and, and the thing is like, the reason I wanted it to be mid ticket, um, which it ended up being like between 400 and $600, depending on when you bought in the launch. But the reason I made it mid ticket was because I wanted something that would actually allow me to create an impact on these people. Like it's really difficult to drive an impact from like one, you know, one time paid masterclass or like a digital product. Like I really wanted to have enough time with these baddies. So like at least two weeks, max like five weeks to actually be able to drive a result for them, right? Because the longer that you work with people, then you're able to kind of, you know, share more with them and and take them on a journey to deliver results, right? Um, and I also wanted to make sure that it was a group program because then people would actually get access to me. They would see what it was like to be coached by me, right? Because I always knew that IG Batty was going to be kind of like a midpoint into the next offer, right? So this is where I was really, so one of like the biggest lessons from this 5k launch is it actually turned out being technically a bigger launch. Like, so it's 5k for IG Batty, but it also was, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Um, I also made uh, $6,000 in sales because on the back end, like I talked about on my Instagram stories today, I actually sold another offer, which is like the next step after IG Baddie to three baddies, technically during the IG Baddie launch. And the, the, the big lesson here is I actually thought about the journey in my offer suite when I was thinking about IG Batty and when I was launching it. So before I would launch kind of like one-off group programs and I wouldn't really have a plan for people to upsell if they want to like into the next container, if they wanted to continue working with me and continue getting results, right? I just kind of thought about it like, oh, here's like a one-time group program. I'm just gonna run this. It's gonna bring in X number of sales. And that was kind of it, right? But the biggest lesson I've learned is the best thing to do is to use your launch to warm people up and prime them up into the next offer and this is what's really allowed me hi maple well thanks for joining let me know where you're joining in from and um yeah let me know uh, what kind of uh business you're running i don't know if i've um i don't know if we've we've necessarily chatted about that but let me know let me know in the comments whether you're running a business. Um, I'm just chatting about my 5K launch and lessons from that. And, oh, Maria, New Brunswick. Oh, nice, you're a Canadian girly. I love that, I'm in Vancouver. I wonder if it's uh, colder in uh, New Brunswick than it is in Vancouver right now. It's like, I think it's like 10 degrees here. So hopefully, hopefully not too much colder than here. Um, but basically, so I was just talking about how one of the biggest lessons I learned from this launch is the importance of lining up 
people for the next like basically when you are launching an offer really thinking about um what is the like how does this fit into the bigger picture of your offer suite in your business coast to coast definitely colder probably minus something in the double digits dang that's cold holy wow yeah i shouldn't complain here i was complaining about the weather here the other day because i I'm, I'm a summer baby i'm a like a hot weather baby um but yeah uh so so basically the importance of having each program, each masterclass, like everything feeding into the next thing, right? So even inside of the IG Body launch, I did a masterclass, which was the How I Made Instagram My Bitch in 2023 masterclass. And that masterclass was strategically like designed to upsell people into IG Body, right? And during the masterclass, I got one person into IG Body um, and I was super, super excited about that. And I think, um, so, so yeah, big, big lesson there that has really changed completely how I operate all of my offers. And now I don't really believe in just doing something one off unless you're running like an experiment, but I always am thinking about like, how does this lead into the next thing? And the funny thing is, so another lesson I want to share is this all happened very organically, right? So it's so funny because all of 2023, I was literally like trying to kind of like build a scalable offer suite. I was trying to create recurring revenue. I was like trying to hit consistent 10K months. But the missing piece was I was not creating a journey for my clients to seamlessly upsell into like the next containers, right? But when I ran the free Instagram Reels challenge over the holidays in the last 10 days of 2023, I accidentally, like kind of like, not accidentally, but like intuitively ended up building this journey, right? Because I was in the challenge and I was hearing like what these people needed. And it was a lot of kind of like, kind of like the earlier foundations of Instagram. And that's when I got the download for IG Batty. And then, um, you know, when I was doing the, and then I was like, I want to do a masterclass because I love doing masterclasses. And then that was going to feed into the IG Batty launch. And then I continued because I was always had it in my mind. I was like, what is the next step after IG Batty? So I was constantly listening, right? So even though I was in my launch for IG Batty, I was already thinking about the next option, right? And so I was in the DMs talking with my dream clients. I was talking with people in IG Batty and really like listening. Hey, Dar Daria, it's so good to see you here. I hope, um, I hope you're... I hope your TikTok's going well. I see a lot of your I see a lot of your um, videos on there. Um, by the way, I'm going to actually San Diego in March. Um, so I unfortunately I won't be in LA, but I'm going to be going to San Diego. So I'll be in California where Daria lives. Um, Maria's like I'm in the biz of building community and meaningful experience adventures for people, especially ADHD people and creatives feeling stuck, frozen, itching to create through play. Um, also, this is my journey. Yeah, exactly. I love that. I love that. Community is everything because when you have community, it's literally the best feedback loop. And and even just like, um, I think that's been the biggest thing that's really, really helped me kind of completely like, um, not like pivot my business, but almost like jumpstart my business is really just, I mean, I've always plugged into community. So I think like, one of the lessons here, um, Daria saying, TikTok feels so much easier to build from scratch than Instagram. So true, right? Like I've been batching my TikToks every Monday and then just like posting three a day. And it's just so freaking easy. I've even got on TikTok stories. You should get on TikTok stories. It's where it's at. Um, but basically, um, when you have community, you have an ongoing feedback loop of what people are needing and what they're wanting, right? And so... Um, like, for example, one of the things that really, really helped me was doing the free challenge because it's such a community thing, right? And the funny thing is a lot of people actually sold, like, like ended up like getting sold on IG Batty, even though they weren't actually inside the free challenge, just because they were watching the free challenge and they were just like, oh my gosh, like, it's so cool. It's so fun. And I think they just like really loved 
um, kind of like how I was showing up for the challenge. I was doing a lot of like, you know, fun reels. I was kind of just like, you know, um, doing it in a really casual way. A lot of people were getting involved. I think it was like exciting to see like all these people joining and all the results. And so that built a lot of momentum for my community, right? And it got people really kind of like tapped onto who I am and just got them like consuming my content more obviously consuming my stories more so that when i launched ig baddie like i had so much buzz around my account and it's so funny because when i launched the challenge my goal like i said i had no idea i was going to launch ig baddie my goal with the challenge was to just get a little bit more engagement on my stories because i knew i was going to like either go back to selling my content baddie program, which I and, and did not end up continuing to sell because as we know, it just wasn't really like the right program. And, and I want to just kind of put a pin in that because I want to talk about that. Um, this concept of like offer audience fit that I've learned through this process. Um, but basically, uh, I just wanted to heat up my audience a bit and like get a little more engagement on my Instagram stories, right? And like that inadvertently really ended up helping my Instagram, like my IG baddie launch because people were very like tapped on, right? And and the other thing that happened was like people were generally tapped onto a lot of things, right? And so they were very hot. And so when I kind of accidentally actually teased the next program that I'm going to be kind of like going to be launching it soon <laughs> um I'm kind of like getting into the warm-up phase right now for like the next launch but basically um I was able to upsell three baddies into my next container that like my three-month container which I'm going to be talking about shortly um over the next few weeks um I got those people in for that three-month container because it was just like everyone was just like warmed up to my content, to me, to my programs, to like the things that I was talking about, to the ways that I was presenting myself. And that kind of like hubbub just created a massive domino effect, right? And even just like I then relaunched my low ticket membership um, and I relaunched it on like my close friends list. And so literally like even just like the past two weeks, I've been telling people like, hey, DM me close if you want to get on my close friends list to hear about like the new low ticket content membership that I'm dropping, which by the way, if you want to hear about it, just DM me close and I'll get you in on my close friends list. Um, it's also where I share a lot of like behind the scenes of like my business and stuff that I don't share on like the main Instagram stories. But um, I even ended up getting like a baddie into my membership. I ended up like getting two baddies who were in the previous membership saying they want to jump back in. I had so many people DMing me <clears throat> close to get on my close friends list <clears throat> just because there was like so much action going on on my Instagram story. So I think one of the lessons is like once you build that community like hubbub around your like your account as I like to call it, it's like everything just sells everything. Like even this morning I had someone reach out and be like, "Hey, do you do done for you LinkedIn profiles?" and I was like, "I I don't do it openly, but like I do do it kind of like in the back end. And that's probably coming from like all this engagement that's been going on, on my Instagram stories, on my content, all these programs that are dropping, right? Um, so, so the other lesson that I kind of mentioned, I wanted to put a pin in this, um, <clears throat> is uh, the concept of offer audience fit. Um, so I'm actually just curious, like Maria and, and Maria and Daria, <laughs> um, what kind of offers are you guys selling right now? I'd love to hear kind of like what you have on the on deck that you're selling or what you're like thinking of selling. Because um, <clears throat> there's this really important. So drop in the comments, kind of like what what your like what kind of like your main offers are, or maybe like things you're thinking about. Um, love the name similarity as I know, right? Dari Daria and Maria are here. Um, so yeah, drop in the comments like what kind of offers you guys have because um, something that has been a massive learning experience for me throughout this 5k launch and also my kind of like flopped launch of Content Baddie is this concept of offer audience fit. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys are selling maybe like, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one offers, if you're selling like high ticket, if you're selling mid ticket, low ticket, if you're selling group programs, courses, like what the price points are, but something that has been a massive like learning for me has been 
making sure that the offer you're dropping is actually matching where your audience is at right now in relation to how they want to work with you. <clears throat> so when I was selling, um, so Daria's saying, I have a one-on-one -on -one offer and I'm thinking about a short intensive 90 minute to just get started and talk with people at a low price. Exactly, yeah. So, <clears throat> so you want to make sure... Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I'm guessing like the one-on-one -on -one offer is probably like a little bit higher ticket and then you want to have like a lower entry point. And so that was exactly kind of like um, what my thinking was when I decided to kind of like stop hard selling content baddie, which was my six month group program. It was like high ticket, it was like um, 7K <clears throat> for six months with me in a group setting. And um, the problem was that my audience just wasn't really at a point of wanting to immediately invest high ticket in me and invest into six months, right? That's like a really big ask. <clears throat> and I was really feeling that because I was bringing a lot of leads in for Content Batty, but I felt like they were either just like not the right fit for a six month program, especially kind of at that level, or they were people who were kind of like newer to my world and they weren't quite like ready to just like invest 7K or they were like earlier on in their business where they were kind of just like, mm, like I don't really know if I want to like commit to like a six month like 7K program, right? And so that's where IG Batty became so like perfect because it was that sweet spot of where my audience was at. They wanted to get the foundations of Instagram. They wanted to... Um, also get a taste of what it was like to work with me. I think one of the things that I really discovered when I stopped just selling content baddie and started selling IG baddie and the reason it sold out so quickly and sold out essentially, like I can't believe there's 10 people inside and I had a 5K launch was because I, um, <clears throat> I provided an option for them that was where they were at at that time right and it was specific to that little transformation that they wanted in the beginning because a lot of people were watching me right a lot of people were watching me when i was selling content baddie and it's so funny looking back now there were so many signals where people are just like stop talking to me like you're in my head and all this stuff and i just thought maybe like they weren't the right client but actually they just wanted a lower ticket option to get on board easier right so maria is saying i want to sell a group experience program i think i'm on pause because i keep flip-flopping between having a separate new ig or growing this one i built so much in my own world but haven't sold okay <clears throat> totally totally um so my honestly like this is like something that i'm very like i have a very strong opinion on i really believe in um so there's this concept that i like to talk about called nothing interesting happens in the building and i used to be a product manager in tech and so i would like build a lot of software products for clients and one of the themes like one of the really big mottos that we had was nothing interesting happens in the building which means nothing interesting happens kind of like in your head in the office in the computer um in, in like brainstorming sessions like really the big stuff happens when you are pushing stuff out into the market right and so um maria when you're talking about kind of like feeling like you're a little bit on pause because you're like mm, should i like start a new instagram account should i just like grow this one building a lot haven't really sold just yet the biggest thing that's created momentum in my business honestly has just been throwing offers out there and starting to sell that's actually how i got started and um on instagram when i had literally less than 200 followers so i can't actually check right now like how many followers you have maria but i literally had um less than 200 followers when i dropped my first group program on instagram and made a thousand dollars um and it was just because i honestly got out there and i just like put something out there to gather feedback right um, Daria said, get, get out there and get dirty. With my first building, I spent uh, almost a year in my head and then realized it was all off. Totally, totally. That was kind of like the mistake that I made with Content Baddie is like I, yeah, Maria, so you're in the 200, 300 range. That's perfect. That's perfect. Like you honestly don't need, I mean, I don't know how relevant your audience is, um, but I know for me when I got started on Instagram, honestly, like 
I don't, I had not grown my audience intentionally. So I feel like it was kind of like not necessarily like hella aligned people. But what I did is I created very specific. Yeah, I thought Daria, you meant business. I was like building, interesting. Um, but um, like the biggest thing that really helped me was just starting to create content that was for my specific dream client, right? So Maria is saying, and they are my people. I can be authentic, friends and total strangers, but we click on shared interests. I love that. Yeah. And so um, for me, like, and I had less followers than you I actually had less than 200 when I started on Instagram. And honestly, the thing that brought people in and heated them up was my content, right? And this is a lot of what I'm talking about in IG Batty, actually. And um, uh, like yesterday, we did, we did the training for like your dream client and how to speak directly to them in your content because and the baddies absolutely loved it so it was like a super practical approach where um, we actually map out your dream client using like super simple questions and then we literally translate those answers directly into pieces of content and I'm actually going to be putting that training into my membership and so um, the membership just launched yesterday officially um, so yeah send me a like send me a dm if like you're um if you want to get on the close friends list just dm me close and you'll be able to like see more info about the membership because like that's um super super key for you to get really clear on who you're targeting so that your content can be laser focused to bring in that person right and that was again like repeatedly one of the big things that really helped with the ig baddie launch too was i was so specific with who i was targeting it was like super narrow and and that's honestly why like i had people coming into my dms who honestly like i've never had this big of a launch especially with so many people who basically had no questions about the program like there was one person who asked a few questions about IG Batty, but that was just because they were, they're like very new in their businesses. This is kind of like one of their earlier investments or like one of their first investments. And so they just kind of wanted to really be walked through, make sure that like they're making the right choice for them. But it wasn't anything really to, it wasn't just like the like doubts about the program or like objections or like a million questions. It was like a very clean process. And the rest of the people, honestly, literally like i had people coming into my dms who i literally had no idea were following me and they were literally just like hey loving your content um can you send me the details of the program i'm gonna sign up like literally stuff like that or like hey um do you think this would be a good program for me if i'm just starting to get marketing my coaching business and i would literally answer the question and then two hours later it's like i'd get like a checkout from thrive cart just like another sale it was crazy. It was like the easiest, easiest launch where people were just like jumping in so excited. And they were just literally like, like I had someone who'd been following me for like years on LinkedIn. And I guess she started following me on Instagram. And she literally was just like, this is perfect. It's perfect timing. I love the sound of it. Like send me the link. I just want to confirm when the calls are. Like it was so easy. And it was because I think like kind of like, I mean, there were so many elements to it. Like I had warmed up my um, my audience so much and I was being very specific. And also I was really confident. Like I was just like in my element. And that's one thing about like having dropped so many offers and having been able to really pinpoint what it is that my audience needs and craft the perfect kind of like almost irresistible offer basically was because I got really specific with what they needed. Like I just knew what they needed. And so they knew it was for them and they were just like no questions asked, right? So Daria is saying, I just realized how I'm speaking to way ahead of where my audience is, the point you mentioned earlier. Thank you, exactly, yeah. It's, it's, really, it's really important to what I like to call like join the conversation going on in your dream client's head. And, and you know, it's so funny because like that was also something that I really leaned into during this launch is, and I talked about this in one of the Facebook lives inside IG Baddie when we were talking about, um, cause we did a, we have a Facebook group and I started going live in there basically as soon as I started launching and I had three baddies inside and now every Monday I go live and we just like chat about like selling and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, on Monday, we're talking about how to um, show up authentically on as yourself on Instagram. But um, whenever, like, like during the launch of IG Baddie, and also, as I mentioned, I also sold three seats to the brand new program I haven't even started talking about yet to three baddies who were in IG Baddie before IG Baddie had even freaking started. Like that's some, some next level shit. Um, like selling the next program before like like the first program has even started um, but I really was like having so many conversations with these people and I was using my content to basically speak to them right so whenever we would talk about things in the dms I would basically create content that then joined that conversation right I feel like a lot of the time sometimes um when business owners are telling me that they're struggling to figure out what content to post for their audience, usually I find that it's a case of you're not necessarily having enough conversations with your dream clients. And that's where also um, it can be really difficult to figure out what the correct offer is, right? To launch, that's going to be that perfect step of what they're craving, right? Um, cause when I came up with the three month container, which I'm going to start talking about over the next few weeks, it came about as a result of me having conversations with my dream clients and them telling me, Hey, this is the next thing that I need. This is what I'm really struggling with. Right. And then that's why like literally off the back of IG Batty, I literally crafted this new offer in like two days, I put the slides together in like an hour, recorded a video, sent it over to them. And within 48 hours, three people said yes, because it was a direct response to the conversation that we were having, right? And they were literally just like, keep creating offers that speak directly to me. Like, this is incredible, right? So Maria is saying, I love that concept of no questions. It's a great compass for the alignment on authenticity of us and our offers. Exactly, yeah. So, um, yeah, and, and you know, like um, Maria saying like, it's a great compass. Like, I think what's also like, honestly, the ultimate compass is your audience, right? And it's um, them telling you what's going on. And, and the more, that's why like this community aspect is so important, running free challenges, just like being more involved. Hey, my tree, thanks for joining. Let us know um, what your business is. We're just chatting here about um, my 5K launch and the lessons I've learned. I'm sharing what we're all working on. I think um, Maria's working on wanting to launch a group program, which I highly recommend. Daria has one-on-one, -on -one, but she's going to be coming up with hopefully a lower ticket option for people to come into her world to kind of get a taste and then upsell from there. So let me know, my tree, what your offers are and what you're currently launching or thinking about launching i'd love to hear um but yeah so let's see um whether there's any other kind of major lessons oh like one of the things that worked really well in this launch that actually i'm gonna just be super vulnerable here i used to be really scared to do was um price increases so i used to feel like I would actually be just too scared. Like I would just give one price for the program and then I would like sell it. But with this program, I really created actually a pricing structure, right? And it was actually a little bit more sophisticated than my past programs because my first ever group program, I just had one price. It was one tier. But for IG Baddie, I actually had two tiers. So you could have the standard program, which was um, uh, 497 or 597 eventually when I raised the price with an upgrade option of the VIP experience for an extra 199 where you got access to me through a group telegram, right? So right now I have three baddies with me, so four of us inside a group telegram where they basically just get to message me every single day. We get to go back and forth on their on their content, on like, you know, um, their Instagram stories, like whatever they're doing to try and like sell their offers on Instagram. And um that allowed me to make the offer very scalable as well, right? Because that's how I'm able to actually have 10 baddies in the group program because I don't, um, 
it's not like all of them are like in a voxer with me or something we have a facebook group but like i go in there like once a day and so this was also like a really good lesson for creating scalable group programs where um you know some people have closer proximity to you some people have just kind of like the standard right so again like you're almost creating multiple options for people to come in right so some people were just like i'm good i'm just going to do the group program and then three people were like i'm going to upgrade to vip because i want to get closer access to you right and so not only are you like serving your clients at the level that they need and they get to kind of pick what level they come in on but the other really kind of important benefit here is the people who get into vip are going to have even more exposure to how you are how you coach and really getting a taste of what it's like to work with you which means that they're going to be likely easier to kind of upsell into the next program because they've gotten more exposure to you right so the last thing that I really want to cover, which is related to this concept of exposure. So I've been thinking a lot about the concept of like um, increasing your surface area on the internet in front of your dream clients. So Daria saying, and it's accessible way to test your one on one. Exactly, exactly exactly what you're saying. Yeah, like you like that. That's kind of like the big thing, too is i feel like i used to do things very randomly i would just be like oh yeah i'll just put everyone in a boxer but i wasn't really thinking i'm like what does this mean like what's the next step for this person like how will this help me up like it was just all kind of just like random but now i'm very strategic and that's why honestly like i'm not surprised that i had a 5k launch i'm not surprised that i have three more baddies in the next step of the program that the next program because everything is very intentional right and 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 like i was saying this concept of like increasing your surface area is basically like increasing how much exposure people have to you in order to facilitate the sales process right so if you look at this whole ig baddie launch there were so many points at which I gave my audience an opportunity to sample me, right? And what it was like to be in my world. So Maria is saying, I love that Daria. I totally read it first from the perspective of like me getting to test what it's like to do one-on-one. -on -one. You probably meant for a client to test one-on-one -on -one with us. Yeah, it gives both ways, totally. Exactly, exactly. And, and that actually reminds me of like, that's what worked really well with the LinkedIn baddie program, the first program I ever launched. Um, and maybe this is actually an interesting lesson. So, cause when I launched LinkedIn baddie, each time people were in Voxer with me the whole time, but this time with IG baddie, I got people to upgrade into Voxer with me. And I think what's really working with this is like if you're earlier on in your business or you're like earlier on, um, maybe like working with dream clients, launching group offers, building your off, like that kind of stuff. I think I actually love that the LinkedIn baddie program, I got people into Voxer with me because what happened was two baddies from the LinkedIn baddie program upsold into my private coaching after my $300 program, literally they went from three paying me $300 for the program to then upselling into a month of coaching, which was $1,700. And then, um, had I then continued having a really nice offer suite, which is what I'm working on in 2024, it wasn't quite there in 2023. Maybe I could have then continued to upsell them into the next thing. Right. Um, and so th that's where we really think about like, how much access are we going to give people in a group program is very related to what kind of exposure do we want them to get to us thinking about what's the next step that we're going to offer them right so so i was talking earlier about like increasing your exposure in general so sorry maria is saying i have one-on-one -on -one clients for my profession and occupational therapy but i have so much more i want to do in the online in the world exactly exactly and honestly like i actually don't really have that many one-on-one -on -one clients like i've really shifted my business to focus more on group programs because it's just more scalable and i find that like 
people love being in a community because they can kind of like learn from each other. There's like an energy in group programs. Everyone's like doing things. You're getting inspired. You're like accountable. You're seeing other people's ideas. You get to meet people. Um, I love group programs. Like I just like, I have so much fun on like group calls. And so um, highly, highly recommend. But kind of like going back to this like concept of exposure is every point in my launch, I was really thinking like, how can I get people to sample more of what it's like to work with me, right? So it all started with the challenge. Again, I didn't know I was going to drop an offer, but even inside the challenge, I was kind of saying at the beginning of this live, I, when they were like, we really need help optimizing our IG bio, I wasn't like, oh, let me now create a paid product like, like I didn't think about upselling too early because I could have easily been like, oh, like I'll create like a little course for like how to, you know, like optimize your IG bio and like I'll charge like, I don't know what, like 40 bucks each or something. But I decided to forego these short term sales. And instead I was like, I'm going to do a free IG bio workshop so that they can get value from me because by then so so but I just decided to do the free IG bio workshop and then once I launched the workshop that's why that's when I was just like actually I'm gonna sell IG body at the end so it worked out really perfectly but the purpose of the IG bio workshop was for people to really get a taste of what it was like to get support from me directly right so for the baddies who attended the workshop I literally helped them craft their IG bio like I didn't hold back because I was like, I know that the more I share my value, the more that people are going to just be tapped on to me and they're going to be more likely to want to join me inside IG Batty because they know what it's like to work with me and they've gotten a result with me, right? And so um, that's that's something really that I think about a lot now with you know social media is how can we expose our teachings and the way that we are as coaches and service providers to people before they pay us, right? In order to maximize the sales. So this is going to be a huge, huge, like, this is why I'm like doubling down on, I'm going live on Instagram every single Wednesday at 1 p.m., uh, sorry, 10 a.m. PST. I'm going live on TikTok every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So Wednesdays are like my live days. I'm doubling down on YouTube videos to educate my audience. Like I am trying to do one masterclass per month. Like I'm trying to do mini trainings on my Instagram stories. Like I'm really trying to create a lot of opportunities for people to get exposure to my teaching for free, right? So that I can maximize the amount of people that feel excited and confident to jump into my containers because they can see what I'm like, right? And so that's been a really, really big thing that has like helped that helped a lot, honestly, with this launch. Um, and it all started with the challenge too, right? Because I was sharing these Instagram like IG real prompts, just like openly. I was sharing my metrics. I was sharing like my best performing videos, everything. It was just like everything was free because I wanted people to just like get a taste, right? Um, so yeah, those are some of like the major lessons from like this very unexpected launch of IG Batty that I kind of just really like, just it, it fell out of me, honestly, like it was coming out of pure inspiration. Um, so yeah, maybe like Daria and Maria, do you guys have any like specific questions that you want to ask about like launching or like creating offers or whatever? Happy to happy to stick around and, and answer. It's honestly been by far the most exciting launch. It's been the most fun launch. It's been like so, everything's felt aligned. Like even down to the branding, I just feel like the branding was really fun. And a lot of people just like wanted to become IG baddies. And there's like honestly so many other things that like were just super, super incredible about the launch. But yeah, let me know if there are any other kind of like things you're curious about or you want me to talk about happy to stick around for a little longer you mentioned group program better than one-on-one -on -one. even at the start can you talk more about that yeah um so this is a good question so when I first started my business I was doing one-on-one -on -one. I feel like that's just kind of like where everyone starts like it's kind of like the comfort point 
Um, but I personally found like when I launched my first group program and, and this might honestly just even be like a personal preference. I mean, the first thing is, is I never wanted to rely on one-on-one -on -one offers in my business. Like I wanted to pivot over to group programs because that's where you can really scale, right? Like even with IG Batty, it's like I got 10 people in, right? But if I had been like, like, let's say like I had a bigger audience, like, like I said, because I have the VIP tier of IG Batty, technically I could have 20 people in IG Batty, right? Like right now in IG Batty, like in the calls in Zoom, I will actually get you to like, like do exercises with me in the Zoom because there's only like 10 people. Um, but I could change the program to say like, you're not getting custom support from me inside this, maybe just like a few questions, but then I could get like 20 or maybe even my, uh, my downtime, my downtime, shut that off. Um, I'm back. But um, so, so they're very scalable, right? And I've always, like, I really value having an open schedule. And so that's why, like, I quickly tried to pivot to group programs. And so I'll tell you, honestly, when I launched my first group program in March, 2023, I didn't think that I was ready. It was actually thanks to the fact I was working with a coach who was like, you want to do group programs? Do group programs. Who cares? I thought that there was like a point at which like you, you would have to be ready for group programs. So one of the reasons why sometimes people say like do one-on-one -on -one first before group programs is because... Um, Sometimes with one-on-one, -on -one, it's easier for you to create a result for someone because you're kind of working with them one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you're still really figuring out kind of like your framework type of thing. But honestly, like, I don't know if I fully buy into that. I don't know if I do because there's something special that happens with a group program because when you have a lot of people, it's almost like you're testing your framework with more people. You're getting more feedback. You're getting more results for more people. And so I don't really like know that like, I don't really believe there should be a rule. Like you have to do one-on-one -on -one before you do group. Um, but the personal preference for me, honestly, is like, I just find them so fun. Not only are they scalable where I can actually like make a lot more money without like, like, cause, cause if I wanted to, let's say like, you know, um, make like like there's only so many one-on-one -on -one clients that you can take right and and I don't want to fill my schedule with a bunch of meetings but with with group programs obviously you can just like have way more people have, have way more money but it's also like I just love the vibe I love the group experience it really lights me up like I love like speaking in front of a group I love speaking like like inspiring a group of people I love creating community and I think it kind of makes people more, um, they see you in that group. Um, hey, Ash, look, thanks for joining. Um, they see you in that kind of like group setting, which um, I just feel like sometimes people get more value out of group programs. Like for me, I don't really like, I haven't done private coaching in a lot. Like I haven't bought private coaching and invested in private coaching in like a while because I love to just like see what other people are doing in their business, right? Like that's where I get a lot of different ideas for me. My questions get answered. I see someone like do something or maybe they like make a mistake and then they like figure out a different way. And now it, it's like your learnings are multiplied. And I think that also affects the person who's running the program because you're seeing all these people come up with, the, they're like, oh, like you taught us to do this. I went ahead and went and did this with it. It's like, you're really testing everything with more people, right? Maria's like, this is really great. I love finding your page last month. It rejuvenated my excitement and alignment. I love groups too. They energize me. Whereas one-on-one -on -one can take a lot out of me. Love it, but still exactly. Yeah. Like one-on-one -on -one is just like a different vibe and I find that like sometimes my clients actually move faster when they're in a group program. Cause like when you're in one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's like you really have to kind of like get yourself excited for what you're doing. And it kind of feels like, you know, you're there, the coach is coaching you. But when you're in a group program, like there's really that big, like, hi, Brie, thanks for joining. Um, but they're in the group. It's like, everyone's just in that vibe, right? And they are seeing everyone else taking action, which makes them want to take action, right? 
And the other thing, Daria, that I really wanted to highlight about a group that I prefer is it's more affordable for people because it's not as expensive as one-on-one -on -one coaching. And, and you can, so, so let's say for example, like, um, like you can basically, like you can have a group program that's $200. You can have a group program that's $500. Like for example, for me, like IG Batty was like, um, the presale was 400 and then I raised it to 600, which is like a good price point. And then if you get enough people in it, like I had a 5k launch, that's like really good. Um, and but you can also have a more expensive group program, right? Like my next group program is is eight is going to be eight hundred dollars. Is going to be the initial price per month for three months, which I'm going to raise the price to. And then later, I'm just telling you kind of my whole product offer suite plan is later I'm going to have a six month program, which is going to be more expensive. So you can kind of like do different price points, and it allows people to come in at different prices, right? With one on one it's like you're kind of tied to charging higher ticket because you have to kind of charge for your time, right? And so I find with group programs, depending on, like you can really play around with the access, right? Like you could even do like, you can do like a one week group program. Like something that I really wanna do is like, I wanna do a one week hyper niche, micro niche program where it's like, every day like i don't know maybe we're all in telegram together and it's like every day you get like a five minute voice note for me that's like the lesson and then you just go and implement and everyone's just in telegram like implementing posting doing this selling and all that stuff and it's like this crazy like party for a week right or you can do like a five-week program you can do a three like it's just there's so much variation and you can really test i think that's the thing that i love about one-on-one -on -one. Uh, sorry what i love about groups is you can test mini program, longer program, voice note only program. Maybe it's just like five days in Voxer with me. Let's just freaking create content. Like, you know, maybe it's like, you know, four week program, like weekly hot seat coaching. Like maybe you get recorded lessons. Like there's so many different options and it gets to be so fun. Like I literally can't wait to launch more group stuff. So Maria saying, do you recommend LinkedIn for most people? It's on my list for 10 years, but shocks can't tell if it's just not aligned or me overwhelmed. Um, so, I mean, I do think LinkedIn is a really good option for like getting like high paying clients, like especially if you work with, I mean, any kind of like businesses, but especially if you work with kind of more like organizations, um, that's definitely like where you should go for, for like for clients. Like I would say faster there than Instagram, just cause like a lot of like decision makers for companies are on LinkedIn. Um, I personally run like a multi-channel strategy where I put everything that I put on Instagram on LinkedIn. I just tweak the format. And so I'm showing up on like both those platforms. Um, I'm actually on five, like six platforms, but, um, because I do like content repurposing, but, um, I would recommend LinkedIn for sure. Yeah. And that's actually something also that um, I have a ton of trainings on inside my membership and the weekly content templates that you get inside the membership are actually for Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, like whatever. It's like super agnostic, but I have a bunch of trainings on like how to optimize your profile, how to network on LinkedIn, like all that kind of stuff. Um, and so, uh, I would highly recommend like getting on LinkedIn if you feel like your clients are on there. It's like really easy to stand out if you have a human personality, because a lot of people are still too scared to kind of like be human on there and they're like overly corporate. Daria's like, you are giving me lots of ideas. I love that. Um, Maria's like, love that. I thought of those two unique and focused exactly micro programs are so freaking good because that's kind of what IG body is like it's it's pretty micro right like I'm not saying like hey like I'm gonna help you like do all like, like build offers sell offers create content go like 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 I'm not telling you I'm just saying like we're gonna 3x your audience growth engagement and client DM inquiries I'm gonna teach you how to create content get clear on your ideal client and start posting right like it's a very kind of specific transformation um, so Daria is asking, how much time does it take you to have so much presence? Um, honestly, um, I'm in a flow right now where I am, it probably only takes me maybe like 
anywhere between four to six hours per week to create all my content for all my platforms. Sometimes it's a little bit more, um, but remember the reason that it really works for me and this kind of comes back to actually my offer suite is because i run group programs and i don't have a lot of like one-on-one -on -one clients and and even in my group programs i don't always give everyone like a monthly one hour call with me like for example for my new three-month container people are getting one 45 minute call with me and then bi-weekly group strategy calls right so actually my calendar is very open like i don't have a lot of calls and I only take calls on Tuesdays and Thursdays and so I basically hey Adrian oh my gosh I'm so excited Adrian's here she's an incredible LinkedIn coach um, she's a baddie she's a baddie we're talking about offers Adrian loves to chat about group group programs too so she's joined in the right conversation um, but uh, basically we're just talking a little bit about repurposing content but basically because I have all these group programs my freaking schedule is so open and I get to do what I love the most, which is serve my clients in my group programs, but also create content. I love creating content. And so because my schedule is so free, because I'm not inundated with like a million one on one clients and one on one calls, I get to create content on all these platforms, right? So like I said, every Wednesday, I go live on Instagram in the morning and then TikTok in the afternoon. Monday, I batch all my TikTok videos and then I just literally post three a day for the rest of the week. And then I do, usually I like batch my Instagram and my LinkedIn content on like a Sunday or something. Sometimes I'll like create it a little bit throughout the week, but I'm, I'm in like a really kind of like, I'm in a workflow for it. And I'm able to show up on all the platforms also because I'm repurposing a lot of content, right? Like I'm not just like literally posting things from scratch. Um, and that's also what Adrian does as well. She's like a master at repurposing as well. She's on all the platforms. Um, so yeah, highly recommend, highly recommend getting into a schedule for it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like the main stuff I wanted to chat about in terms of like lessons from my 5k launch of IG baddie and secretly it's actually a 12, uh, secretly it's actually an 11k launch because of that extra 6k that I got for the next program that I'm selling in the back end, which I'm super excited about. You're going to hear more about that over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, awesome. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head out because I have to start making lunch, but it was so fun hanging out with you guys. I loved hearing from you, Maria. I hope to see you launch some things in 2024, hopefully some group programs. I'm excited. And then Daria as well. I'm excited for you to potentially maybe dip your toes into some group programs and also set up your multi-tier uh, product suite. Highly recommend adding an additional option to work with you on top of your one-on-one -on -one so that you can upsell people. Super effective. Yes, Daria, I will put you to my close friends list. Amazing. Thanks so much. Super appreciate it. And Def will be doing that. Amazing. Okay. I'll see you soon, baddies. Uh, Daria, I'll add you to the close friends list right now. All right. I'll chat to you guys soon. Every Wednesday, 10 a.m. PST. I'll be live on Instagram. Okay. Bye, baddies.